We're dealing with presuppositions, things that I think I know that are in error, and they keep me from freedom, from knowing God. Um, there's a sequence of them that you'll see the numbers, and I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to play games with anybody's head, but uh, the second one is very simple. The concepts of kingdom are to be understood in time and not eternity. The events of the kingdom are preparing us for eternity, but the events of the kingdom are in time. Luke 22, verse 28, 29, Jesus says to his apostles, the twelve disciples, I appoint unto you a kingdom in the same way Father appointed me a kingdom. Now this is in time, this is not eternity. The process of the kingdom unfolds in time and that's where we are right now. Jesus says seek first the kingdom because the kingdom involves our conduct, our responses, our mindset in time so that proper use of the kingdom in time opens us in preparation for eternity. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul says, then comes the end and the kingdom is given to the Father. So that if you even understand what I'm saying, you will learn how to, to seek the kingdom, recognizing that every bit of my behavior on the earth is affecting an inheritance in eternity. So that it, it, the moment you do that, then you understand. Seek first the kingdom, um, buy the field, trade your pearls. All of that is stuff that we need to do in time. It's not, if we don't do it in time, it doesn't happen in eternity. So Jesus imparts to them the kingdom in time. And, um, I, and all of us are thinking and acting as if we're already in heaven. No, heaven is coming to earth. And the kingdom, the new Jerusalem, is what Father is after, a governmental reality in this life.